Hello and welcome to Money Time at Money Nine. Yeah, I get it. You are in a party mood. But before you start driving to your favorite beats on the weekend, let's give you a dose of personal finance news. So let's begin. Tata Consumer Product Limited on Friday said it has ended negotiations with Bisleri with regard to potential acquisition deal. It also said Tata has not entered into any definitive agreement or binding commitment on this matter. The Tata Group company was in talks since November 2022 to buying the packaged water giant for about 6000 to 7000 crore rupees. This is said according to a report Ramesh Chauhan who is the chairman of Bisleri International has no successor to take the Bisleri to the next level of expansion. Stock exchanges NSE and BSE have removed three Adani Group companies from the list of short term additional surveillance measure framework or short term ASM. These three companies are Adani Enterprise, Adani Power and Adani Wilmer. The exchanges have removed Adani Group companies within just 9 days of adding those to the list. Placing stocks under ASM means investors will have to keep 100% of front margin in intraday. But since now the stocks are out of list, investors can keep just 50% margin for intraday trading. Apart from the Adani Group companies, the exchanges have also removed Tata Teleservice Maharashtra from the ASM framework. Jio has checked up entry level postpaid tariff plan by 100 rupees. Jio's postpaid plan will now start from 299 rupees. Its rival Airtel had earlier said that its tariff of entry level plan for prepaid users will start from 155 rupees across 22 circles. Now, according to a news report in Financial Express, industry experts have said that Airtel is also likely to come out with some new plans. According to them, telcos are trying to improve their average revenue per user which is known as ARPU. and hence those telcos are raising entry level tariff plans in a huge setback for home buyers the delhi high court has refused to direct banks to stop charging home loan emis from distressed home buyers who haven't got possession of their apartments in super tax gurgaon project more than 200 petitions were filed by home buyers requesting the high court to direct banks to stop charging emis earlier the court directed the builder to pay emis on their behalf till buyers get possession of the flats but Now the builder has stopped paying EMIs owing to fund crunch. The ba- home buyers will have to pay EMIs on their own. Plus, there is no certainty when they will get possession of their apartments. YouTube has jacked up prices of TV subscription by eight dollars. YouTube's TV subscription will now cost seventy-two point nine nine dollars per month. The Google-owned platform has attributed the price hike to rise in cost on content creation. This is the first time in the last three years that YouTube has raised TV subscription rates. Although the subscription charges have more than doubled in the last six years, next news will bring music to your ears. If you are frustrated with rising prices of wheat, then here is a sigh of relief for you. After the centers decided to step in and sell rabi crop in open market, wheat has become cheaper by six to eight rupees per kg in the last two months. Currently, the average wheat price has fallen under thirty rupees per kilogram in most part of the countries, while Average prices of atta has come down under 35 rupees per kg. Roller Floors Mills Federation of India said wheat production is estimated to be more than 100 million tons in 2022-23 crop year. The federation's president Pramod Kumar S hailed government's decision to sell the rabi crop in the open market. He said centers timely intervention helped bring wheat prices under control. Otherwise, wheat prices would have skyrocketed to 40 to 45 rupees per kg. Surya the small finance bank has launched a new savings account for women. It is called Blossom Women's Saving Account. It carries an interest rate of 7%. The small finance bank will offer debit card and cashback rewards to women account holders. Apart from this, women account holders will also get discount on shopping via debit card. Other benefits include one complimentary account for child, concession processing fees on two wheeler loan, insurance, doorstep banking to name a few. High tech pipe on Friday split its share in the ratio of 1 to 10. Shareholders holding one share of steel pipes manufacturer will get 10 shares in their portfolio. A company spokesperson said it has split the share to increase its liquidity so that small investors can also buy in company shares. The stock split is also expected to increase liquidity of the stock. Uttar Pradesh based high tech pipes is manufacturing facilities in UP, Gujarat and Karnataka. Besides steel pipes, the company also produces tubes, coils, road cash barriers, and a variety of other galvanized products on friday the counter closed 3% higher at 92 rupees on bsc capital market watch stock cb has stringent disclosure rules for foreign portfolio investors fps investing in india's 
capital market will have to disclose what they bought and sold within the next 7 days. Retail investors who track FPIs can go to CB's website and they will get all information regarding what FPIs bought and what they sold. They will not have to wait for the quarter to end. Now they will get all the relevant information just within 7 days. Bandhan Mutual Fund has renamed its US Debt ETF Fund as US Treasury Bond 0 to 1 Year Fund of Funds. The fund house said that the open ended fund of funds will invest in units and shares of overseas index funds and also in ETFs. The scheme will track an index of US Treasury securities of 0 to 1 year maturity period. And with this, we wrap up the session. And we bid you a very good weekend where you can watch our weekend programs on YouTube.